How's everybody doing? Mike here, the channel is Let's Turn 2, and today we're going to open a blaster box of 2022 Topps Allen & Ginter. Why? Three reasons. One, Allen & Ginter, always fun to open. Two, 2023 Allen & Ginter will be coming out here shortly, probably in the next, what is it, couple of weeks, certainly in September though. And, uh, and three, as you all know, if you have been following the channel, the $17 boxes that can be found at Walmart have become one of my favorite things in the hobby. So hit a restock today, and luckily everything that they had was Topps stuff. There for a while I was only finding Panini. Well, today it was all just different things from Topps. So look for more videos here coming up in the not too distant future. And uh, yeah, so let me know, have you found, or have you had any luck finding these boxes at your local Walmarts? Not sure, you know, if these can be found online or not, like Walmart.com or, you know, anything like that. But uh, I just, I think they're a really good deal, especially for, in this box, we get eight packs. So 48 total cards. We'll be able to open two at a time, as I like to do. Let's let those warm up in the bullpen and get into our first two packs. One thing that, you know, some people may not like with these packs, I'm not necessarily a big fan of, is the one mini card in every pack kind of gets annoying i tend to to lose those cards when i'm sifting sorting through the cards i should say they tend to fall out hopefully we won't do that here today but all right and there goes right on cue one trying to escape off to the side who is it jd martinez that is a gold parallel but it's not an allen and ginter back so all right Let's go ahead, let's try to get that other mini out of the ra out of the way. Adrian Beltre. Okay, also not an Allen and Ginter back. Alright, so we got Ron Santo. There's our first rookie, Royce Lewis. Very nice. One of our inserts. This is another reason, you know, if you're not an Allen and Ginter fan, they have a lot of non-sports related, non-sports related, non-baseball related base cards as well as inserts, but now that's a pretty cool insert there, Famous Rivals. Another rookie there, Lucius Fox, Harmon Killebrew. We got something upside down or backwards. Is that just going to be a short print or maybe we do we have an autograph? Giancarlo Stanton. That's just going to be a short print. It's Joe Carter. Anything above uh, 301 and up is a short print, so we can put that one to the side. Why not? There's an insert, Reggie Jackson, Banner Season. Banner season. Pretty nice. We'll put that to the side. And Roberto Clemente. Let's get into our next two packs here. I think, you know, if you, again, if you've been following the channel, one of the nicest cards, most valuable cards, coolest cards, whatever you want to say, that I have gotten in two and a half years of doing this channel came out of a pack of Allen and Ginter, but it wasn't from a blaster box and it wasn't or it wasn't opening a whole blaster box, and it wasn't from Hobby, but it was from one of those mystery tins from MJ Holding, Thurman Munson Mini. If you don't know what I mean by Allen and Ginter back, instead of a standard back like that, it will actually have the big Allen and Ginter logo on the back. Adds a little bit extra value. We should have one here over the course of the entire box, but yeah. One of the coolest cards I ever got on this channel. Here's another high number, Juan Gonzalez. Put that on deck for the video's best catch. Jose Barrios, pitching a gem. I like that insert. Hall of Famer Jim Tomey there. Get that bread, Italian sub. Very nice. And Drew Ellis, rookie. So haven't hit any of the big rookies necessarily so far. But yeah, if you haven't already, check that video out. You can just type in, you know, let's turn to uh, MJ Holding Mystery Tin, or you can just look through. I have a playlist for any video where I've gotten a hit. I think it's called Autos and Relics, or I forget the actual name of that uh, playlist. But yeah, it's right in there. Really cool. Our next two minis, Randy Rosarina. And there we go. There's an Allen and Ginter back. On the Germain Marquez. So that's that's the difference. It adds a little extra value, but not too much. They're not super rare. We got Manny Machado. We have a lot of these 
you know, these are why, you know, even though these are shorter prints, they're high numbers, whatever, not a lot of extra value to them. What's cooking? Apple cider vinegar. Mackenzie Gore, rookie. I like that. Mount Castle. Banner season. Frank Robinson. Why not? We'll put that to the side. And Matt Veerling, rookie. So, all right, like I said, we're going to have more of these $17 boxes coming up in the not too distant future so hit that thumbs up hit the subscribe so you don't miss any of it i would really appreciate it and yeah just let me know down below if you've had any success opening these boxes from they're primarily 2022 but i have found some 2021 panini stuff that has been on clearance and i do have a playlist for all the boxes that i have opened so far on the channel at these uh, $17 prices. So you can check that out as well. There's an insert, Time Out. Let's try and get that other mini here. So there's a black border, Eddie Matthews, very cool. All right, so we didn't have a lot of luck with the, the minis, but that's okay. Whit Merrifield. Another high number, Dale Murphy. Banner Season, Fergie Jenkins. Why not? We've put all of our Banner Seasons to the side, so we will with that one as well. There's a Hunter Green, Ken Griffey Jr., really like that card. Zach Granke, Pitching a Gem, and Yuan Mankata. So I'm going to put the Granke to the side. You know, the Hunter Green might have been the best rookie of the box. So not a whole lot going on in this box. We're going to have a decision to make for the video's best catch. Let me know down below which card you would have picked. But I think I have my idea, and I'll tell you why here in a moment. I'm going to give it to Zach Granke. Not only I'm, you know, I live here in Missouri, so the Royals would be my American League team, but I think it is probably the end of the road for Granke. This might be his last season. He is back with Kansas City, though, so that's nice to round out the career and a potential Hall of Famer. So we're going to go ahead and give the video's best catch to Zach Granke. I thank you all for watching. I will see you on the next one. Take care.